Right now, we're still in it. Lee came into range more than two weeks ago. Now, here at the Four Fox Forecast Center, we're watching what will happen with the center of the storm as it basically uh, makes its way north into the Canadian Maritimes eventually late in the weekend. Now, there's a product that's being offered up publicly by the National Hurricane Center, the seven-day tropical outlook, which brought this storm into the discussion very early. Let's bring in NHC director Michael Brennan. Michael, the seven-day outlook previously used in-house very successfully. Now, this season out to the public. So far, it seems to be serving its purpose. Adalia, Lee, two storms that were captured more than a week out, giving, you know, heads up for land potential. How do you feel like, feel like those forecasts have, have performed? Yeah, that's the whole reason we decided to go public with that product this year is, again, for these storms where we are more confident that they are going to develop. Again, not every storm, but some of these uh, more substantial storms, especially the ones that come out of the deep tropics, we do have the ability to forecast their development out seven days in advance. So, so we were able to give that ex extra heads up and lead time to people, especially for thinking like a Dahlia, a storm that was formed and uh, impacted land within just a few days. That's really valuable lead time there. In particular for Lee this morning, the storm became so strong early on a, a tropical depression September yeah. 5th the rapid intensification to a category five that early intensity though is key to what we're seeing right now with the longevity of the storm and the widespread of impacts it may not be the heart of a hurricane impact with the strength of those winds right at a landfall or a surge impact but certainly right. the characteristics of the storm all along the way are what we're dealing with right now yeah, really, the structure is changing. And, you know, we've gone from that very sort of peaked wind distribution and the very well-defined eye wall with really strong winds to a much broader, larger wind field with hurricane force winds extending out 100 miles from the center, tropical storm force winds over 300 miles from the center. So those impacts are going to spread out over a very, very broad area across much of coastal New England. The Canadian Maritimes are still even getting, you know, substantial winds this morning, even on Bermuda. And you can see the center is well past that island now. Yeah, Bermuda's really had their waves turned up. We've been watching some of the imagery come in from that. Let's talk about the peak storm surge. We still have a forecast here for up to three feet in several areas. Uh, what's your concern over surge flooding? When you're looking at this, it coincides with high tide. It looks like it could be problematic in pockets along the eastern seaboard. Yeah, that's right. It, it really is very sensitive to the timing of the tide up here in the northeastern U.S. with the large tidal ranges. We're most concerned about the area of Cape Cod Bay here where we could get that prolonged funneling of northeasterly wind on the northwest side of Lee that could pile water up in here. That's one of the areas where we could see you know, closer to that three feet of, of inundation, and that can cause road closures, you know, some coastal flooding, uh, certainly an environment people want to be uh, wary of and not be out into. But, you know, we could see the potential for one to three feet of inundation all the way from Long Island all the way up through the, the uh, the coastline of Maine. So in addition to large breaking waves, beach erosion, and just in general dangerous, you know, marine and surf conditions over most of the United States East Coast this morning and continuing into tomorrow. Hurricane hunters are in the storm right now. We're going to get some more data in. Do you anticipate to see the storm become, uh, you know, get out of category one status, go into tropical storm status here this morning? Um, I think we're going to hang on to it as a, it's going to hang on as a hurricane at least through the day today and maybe even into tonight. That's our current forecast. We have it, you know, for the peak winds falling below hurricane strength as we go into early Saturday. But again, that's not going to make a huge difference. The impacts are coming in terms of the wind. You know, the wind potential, the potential wind impacts are pretty substantial in down east Maine, Cape Cod and the islands. Leaves are still on trees. We could see some, you know, 50, 60, 70 mile an hour wind gusts could cause power outages, some structural damage. So again, that's what's what we want folks to be prepared for in this tropical storm warning area from the coast of Massachusetts all the way up uh, to the Canadian border and even into Atlantic Canada. All right, so the forecast will stand uh, perhaps as a tropical storm landfall in Canada. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.